I know I'm about to blow some of your minds, but there's actually fish besides bass that you can catch. Um, and you can even eat. I see a lot of people putting worms on wrong. Um, and some of you may say, think that's extremely simple, but there are two ways to put worms on depending on what type of fish you're fishing for. So check this out real quick video. I'm gonna show you how to put the worm on to make it more efficient when you're fishing, especially for bluegill. All right, what I have here is some red worms. These are just like red wigglers. You know, they're small, thin worm. You're gonna use these primarily for a pan fish, such as bluegill and, and sunfish and crappies, that type of fish. You're not gonna to wanna to use these for bass or catfish. They're just too small. There's pretty much just two ways to do this. This is the type of hook you're gonna want. It has small barbs on the back of it. It's bait keeper hook. So you're gonna to wanna to take your worm. Now most people will put it through like such and then they'll keep putting it through turning the hook and put it through and that's how most people put the worm on this is perfect for something like bass or catfish which like I said this worm's a little small for bass or catfish but this is not good for bluegill this is not good for the little fish that's going to come up and and hit it real hard and has small mouths and and probably get it in because they're gonna just rip your worm off bass and catfish is because they will take the whole thing in their mouth and they'll just engulf it all but this is not how you want to do it for bluegill and let me show you how to do that so if you're putting a worm on for say crappie or bluegill any small pan fish you're gonna want to now you can leave a little bit don't go through the complete top. Leave a little bit, but come in to the worm. And you're going to want to run the hook through the worm. Just get it all the way through. Push the end through. Leave a little hanging out. You can even push it up and onto the eye if you want. But that's how you want it for bluegill, for crappie, things like that. Fish that are gonna come peck at it, that's how you want it. They won't be able to pull it off. You'll be able to use this worm for multiple fish. So thanks for watching. I know that's pretty basic for most people that are into fishing, but uh, you know, we need to get the people that aren't into fishing into fishing. So uh, this video is obviously geared to the, the people that aren't real sure, but they might have somebody that just wants to go fishing and they've never fished. So please share this video with anyone uh, just getting into fishing, maybe a parent or, or even a kid that's really gung-ho about going to catch some fish and, and uh, might be struggling a little bit. And the the reason is just maybe something simple, like they're not putting the bait on right or something like that. So please take someone else fishing, um, and we'll see you out there.